Atlas ready. This is Vandenberg Air Force Base, headquarters for the 1st Missile Division of the Strategic Air Command. It is the United States Air Force's first operational ICBM missile base, and spread out over its thousands of acres are launch sites for both intermediate range and intercontinental ballistic missiles. From these towers, now ready, the Strategic Air Command will launch the Atlas. Until September 9th, we had no operational ICBM capability. All previous Atlas launchings have been research and development tests performed at Cape Canaveral for the Air Force by Convair Astronautics. Development of the Atlas has been under the direction of the Air Research and Development Command through its Ballistic Missile Division. Over a thousand industrial teams contributed their talents to bring Atlas from basic design to operational capability in less than five years. The first Atlas launch from Vandenberg was accomplished by an Air Force crew operating from this complex. These Air Force crews trained for their job at Convair Astronautics and at Vandenberg. They are men of the 576th Strategic Missile Squadron, 1st Missile Division. All of the electrical and mechanical equipment required to launch Atlas is remotely controlled from the blockhouse, which contains the most advanced checkout and launch control equipment yet devised. The consoles in this room control all three Atlas pads. The five men at these stations will be in control of the tactical training launch you are about to see and are on 24-hour standby in the event of an alert. An adjoining room houses checkout equipment which is almost completely automated. Decks of punched cards are used to activate the system. Tactical launch mode start. The status of individual parts is displayed on the console and on a printed paper tape. This display in the control center indicates the status for groups of these systems. The use of automatic checkout equipment makes it possible to check thousands of items in a matter of minutes to keep missiles and launch equipment ready for firing on 15 minutes notice. The command post is about two miles from the Atlas launchers. It is the clearinghouse for all range information and in the event of an actual retaliatory action would serve as the nerve center of all tactical operations at Vandenberg. The officers in charge are only seconds away from this direct line to Strategic Air Command headquarters in Omaha, Nebraska. In the event of an attack on the United States, the strategic decision to launch an Atlas would come through this instrument. Guidance of the missile through its powered flight is also centered in this building. The General Electric guidance antennas receive a continuous signal from the missile. This communication is analyzed by a Burroughs electronic computer, which accurately determines if the missile is on its proper course. If it isn't, a return signal goes out to Atlas, telling it to correct its flight path. Among the many additional units required to support a missile training launch are air police responsible for security, air force instrument and camera groups, and range safety. When all upper levels of the missile have been checked and secured, the access tower is removed. Atlas now stands alone, ready. Automated machines will finish its preparation for flight. On my mark, T minus 12, mark. LCO here. Roger, GCO here. Uh, just the guidance is ready for loop. Uh, roger, thank you. LCO off the line. GCO. Operator, initiate your loop test conference. Uh, roger, LO off the line. LA off the line. Roger.
Elcio here. Roger, Elcio here. We had a go on the loop. Uh, Roger, we had a go here also. Uh, Roger, DC, we're going back to conference. Uh, green and this way. On my mark, T minus four, mark. Uh, are you go? Roger, guidance status. Camera control. Cameras go. Cameras are go. Safety here. Uh, is the area clear to launch? You have a great night. Uh, Roger. Telemetry, are you go? Go. Telemetry is go. Minus 70. Mark. I have a missile ready, green. Uh, Roger, go ahead. Clear to launch. Roger, I have a green light. Commit start. Minus 60. Mark. Minus 40. Mark. Minus 30. Mark. Minus 20, mark. Minus 10, mark. Cameras on. Oh, Roger, we got it. Right, thank you. Electronic eyes followed the flight of Atlas long after it had disappeared from human sight. Less than 30 minutes later, the first operational ICBM flight was history. Atlas traveled 4,300 miles southwest across the Pacific Ocean. The nose cone impacted near Wake Island, on target a highly successful first ICBM flight for the Strategic Air Command of the United States Air Force. 